This is John Walton, and you're listening to the Power Play Point Podcast with the Blue Lighter on Point and Anna Knox. Here's Wilson, and on the right circle, they score! Hello and welcome once again to the Power Play Point Podcast. This is your host, the Blue Liner on Point, speaking to you live to tape once again from downtown Glen Burnie, Maryland. And with me as always to cover this glorious first week of Caps hockey is the one and only mermaid herself live from Centerville, Virginia. It is the mermaid, Anna Knox. Yes, happy Sunday, Gil. Happy Sunday to you. What what Sunday has ever been happy? Well, that's a good Sunday for me. But oh, really? Yeah. It finally feels like fall. Uh, yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday was like stupid hot still. <laughs> Last week was hot and humid. So today felt like fall. I went to a winery. <laughs> mm. And yeah. Good day. Not a good football day for Washington, but uh, my Niners didn't play, so that's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, it's gorgeous as... weather, so that is the happy Sunday. Okay, all right. Well, I, I, I'll give you that. No, I, I agree. It's uh, getting to be fall for sure. Finally, I looked at the uh, the temperature marker on my laptop, and uh, it was about uh, eleven this morning when I did, and I saw forty nine degrees, and that's when it hit me. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's uh, mid to late October that we're in. Finally. Yeah. Because the, the best outfit, and and I will be buried in it, is uh, is, is shorts and flip-flops and a sweatshirt. That That's it. And I wear this until it snows. I, like, I, have, to, I have to ask. Commando, you know yes. I ha- okay. Always. Now that, now, especially since hockey season started. Just, just, uh, just, just had to, had to <laughs> be sure. <laughs> Yep, gotta keep it, gotta keep it going. Because I will say that. So I bought a new shirt at Costco. Great, love it. Like long sleeve, always in the men's department because the girl shirts are like, mm. and my daughter could wear it. Um, I was like, oh, this is such a great shirt, and I wore it in the first game, uh, and they won. And so I was like, oh, I'm totally wearing this one for the Tampa Bay game. And then into like the third, I was like, oh, I'm going to go put a sweatshirt on. And for some reason, I just I just didn't even think about it. And I, I took the shirt off and I came out in a sweatshirt and then we lost. Hmm. So I learned my lesson. I need to wear the shirt the whole 60 minutes. Like I'm always ragging on the team to play <laughs> 60 minutes. So I need to do my part as well. That's... That's uh that that's gonna be one for uh, Robbie's list of <laughs> Robbie Gross's list of superstitions. Oh, absolutely. That that that'll be one for his book of that. <laughs> Speak, speaking of Robbie, uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, kind of forgot in uh, all that what happened. I want to uh, give a, a a live congratulations to him and his family on the birth of uh, his second child, uh, a new daughter last week. Sarah. Zara, uh, I Zara. love 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 the name. Love the name, Zara Elizabeth. Gross. Yes. Love that name. I have. Abs- I it is Elizabeth. It's a classic. I have it for Avery. Avery Elizabeth. But yeah, yeah. Robbie and Liz. Uh, oh, they posted pictures that are fantastic and lots of family love. And and he's taking that paternity leave, and he's gonna rock it. And good for him. So yes, yeah, many congratulations. Yeah, so if you think about it, I I don't want to make too much of it, but if you think about it, we had uh, the passing of uh, of Mike um, mm-hmm. a couple months ago, and of course your mom, and now now we have uh, weeks later we have a birth. So that's, I mean that's nice. that's just how Absolutely. how everything works out. Does the circle of life? Oh. 
The fact that you had that cued. The fact that I said it. <laughs> no. I didn't think you were going to say it. Well, figured... you know what? It's funny. I just as I said it, I was like, God damn it, he's probably gonna find some <laughs> Lion King thing. Like it just it, like it came out of my mouth and then all of a sudden I could like, you know, see some Lion King reference to just you know, because I'm not a Disney person, so but I of course we all know that song to the point of puking. Um but yes, it's a circle of life. You just, you yeah. just gotta you gotta let that go. <laughs> Apparently. But please don't. I won't. I'm not going to say those three words because I don't want to hear. Um, no, I'm not even going to say it. I, I, I get it. I, I figured I had to throw it in there. <laughs> but You're I, so I, close. I, I honestly didn't. I honestly didn't think you were going to be the one setting me up like that. It will see. I didn't make the Lion King reference. I said Circle of Life, and then I <laughs> then it then it made me be like. <laughs> Oh, God, someone's going to make a Lion King reference or a Frozen reference. And yes, don't forget, I teach. So I do have to know all these things from many years ago. And yes, <sighs> all right, speaking let's of talking. Frozen, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying a nice Dunkin' cold brew that uh, I left in the freezer for a bit. And uh, yet, yes, you can pick up that name that I just dropped. Uh, we're we're always eager for sponsors here, and uh, <laughs> I'm not ashamed to say it because uh, stuff like computers and and airtime and server time that stuff costs money, people. So well, and just to have me on, I mean, why that Michael's, too? God, lots of expenses going on here. Zeros on that so check. We're we're looking we're looking for sponsors, and anybody's interested, <laughs> let us know. Uh, so how is okay any uh yeah anyway i don't drink coffee so that's all good and anyway so moving on yes it it is fall and that of course means hockey and it was uh only two games but it was a great two games i would like to say and not to pat ourselves on the back but i hope this first set of games proved a lot of the naysayers and people who might have been nervous about this year's caps, you know, look, they're going to be competitive. Yeah. Right? They're not going to win. Maybe they're not going to win every game the way they used to all the time, but they're going to be competitive, and you're going to like what you see. You're going to like how they play. And I I think these two games proved us right. 100%. And so we'll we'll get to talking about that now starting with, of course, the home opener this past Wednesday night. I was, uh, the Miss, Mrs. Blue Liner and I were actually torn between watching it at home and uh, the uh, going down to the firm brewery in, uh, in Gambrels. Um, that's where the locker uh, Hattie beer was made. Oh, so and good. he was, he was actually there. So I, heard. oh, no way. Yeah, he was, he was actually there. Um, it was there because we had to suffer through TNT. Yeah. Commentary. Yeah. And uh, it, what what were you saying about TNT's coverage of the game? Um, that it's nothing compared to Joby and Locker. Yeah. And for the sake of argument and time, I think you and I are just going to leave it at that. Yep. That, uh, yeah, those guys are no Joby and Locker. And yeah, I, I think that's all we need to say about at. yeah it was it was not good yeah but anyway getting to the game itself so well you all saw it was six goals it was it was glorious action on the ice it was nowhere near the fight night that uh some was some <laughs> were uh, hyping it to be i don't know about you but one of the highlights of the game was was for me was when uh, nick jensen did the, the shoulder takedown of ryan reeves in the corner <laughs> Was it uh, Nick Jensen or Hagelin? It, it was it was Jensen. Because wasn't there something? Was it the same where like Ryan Reeves is on his back? Did you see that one? What? No, I did. I missed that oh, one. Okay, but that's Hagelin. No, I'm ta- then. Yeah, yeah, that one might have been Hagelin. I'm I'm talking about where Nick Jensen was in the corner digging the puck out, and and Reeves charged him from behind, and Nick turned at the last second and and basically flipped him over his shoulder. I love it. I mean, my God, I let shut that guy down. 
He's got to yeah. be humbled that, you know, one, he was traded anyways, and then he gets injured preseason. Then he comes out just trying to be cocky, and you're like, don't even, don't even. I mean, it, it wasn't as much of of the fight night as, uh, no. as I said. It was hyped up to be, but the Rangers fell victim to their own trap. Uh, they thought they would goad the Caps into an overly physical game. Mm-hmm. The Caps weren't having it. They played their game, and look who came out on top. Exactly. And I I just I mean new coach new players same result. You now I yep. I don't know I don't know if they've learned their lesson yet and maybe maybe they will maybe they won't but it didn't look like it in that first game. Right. All right. So quick quick rundown of the scoring summary. Um, my man, my number sake, four thirty nine in the first power play goal one nothing. T J Oshie, the captain and Kuz Netsov on the assists. So he opens the scoring. Um, and then it was, I don't know if it was between this goal. It, it might've been between this goal and the next one where Nick Jensen had that slap shot from the point, but it was negated due to offside on the replay. Mm-hmm. After further review. Oh. Yeah. Mm, love that What's phrase. That? What's that for us? Yeah. It, it's, uh, that's my, uh, uh, um, 60 year old NFL. Macaulay. No, a 60-year-old NFL referee who can't keep up. And okay. I, I, I guess I haven't been watching too many NFL <laughs> games. I kind of gave up on them long ago. Anyway, anyway. Uh, so next goal was about eight minutes later. In fact, almost exactly eight minutes later at 12.38. Another power play goal, Justin Schultz, his first of the year, of course. Kuz, Netsov, and the captain also on the assists on that one. Uh, that, of course, turned out to be the game winner. And then probably the goal of the game, probably for everybody, uh, except if your uh, first name is Wayne and last name is Gretzky anyway. <laughs> kind of chatty. Uh, anyway, uh, so uh, Hendricks Lapierre, his first professional goal. Uh, TJ Oshie. Yeah, oh, I had to love it. TJ Oshie with the slick assist on that one. Connor Sherry. With the secondary assist, got the play going, makes it 3-0, 13-02, uh, 24 seconds after Schultz's goal. And, yeah, uh, it was off to the races, bring out the fire wagon. But I, I'm, I'm going to bring up the replay of this one just, just to watch it one, one more time. So, so Sherry digs it out of the corner, pushes it forward. Oshie picks it up at center and then does this beautiful kind of leg fake. Head fake, body fake, leg fake, head fake, leg fake, skate fake, 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 head fake, leg fake, body fake, 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 back fake, body fake, head fake, body fake, leg fake, head fake, leg fake, skate fake, 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 head fake, leg fake. Paralyzer move and lifts it and does this sideways drop pass. LaPierre picks it up, slams it home over our friend uh, Georgie Porgy, Georgie of Porgiev. Um, the goalie for the Rangers, and yeah, this was this was the goal of the game. The arena was rocking, the bench was rocking. Uh, uh, Tark El Bashir had the had the greatest tweet about it. I wish I had in front of me, but I mean, the whole building was shaking after that because they. I I think all of all of DC sports is is this might be hyperbole, but I think all of DC sports is starting to fall in love with this kid, and oh, 100%. we're really. We're really hoping he he makes you know he makes a go of it while he's with us, um, but we'll we'll see. But it, it was a it was a great great start. To I it was all. excited. I was um, I talked about him before, and I said, you know what, I I was uh, impressed with the fact that um, you know he had these injuries and he had a lot of doubters out there uh, mm-hmm. coming in, and good for him, young kid, and that smile, ah. Uh, with you know him and Oshi, just you know that just was awesome. Uh, I don't know let who me... was I don't know who was happier, him or Oshi. <laughs> oh no, shit, right? Like that was just like, oh my god! Like the whole team was pumped up, and I, I just think that that's that's awesome when you have players that, regardless, you know whether they're they've been playing together forever, or they just this is their first game. That when they can be that excited for each other, that it to me is just awesome sportsmanship. And let me just correct. I'm so sorry. It, I don't know why I was thinking Haglund. Yes, Jensen and the flip with Reeves. I apologize. My mistake. No biggie. No biggie. Yeah. But uh, yeah, at it, 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 least you it remember. Awesome. Cause, uh, yeah, because I, I know how much you hate 
the the big double R. I hate him so much. <laughs> I, I still I still do. But yes, that was a, a little snicker snicker giggle. I wish I would have put it on my post. But you know what? It's fine. But yeah, well, I don't know how I, I got the name wrong. I apologize. Speaking speaking of him though, and and probably the one thing TNT did well. Uh, the little they, when they captured the little conversation between him and Ovechkin, and I this, will say, I wish you know. Actually, it's funny that you're going to say this. So go ahead. I'm, I'm going to see what you're going to say before I say anything. Well, I was just going to say it was. Uh, oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to make a correction myself here. Uh, this is how rusty we are. Um, uh, Schultz and Lapierre's goals were in the second period, so not eight minutes after Oshie's goal. So <laughs> Oshie's was the only goal in the first period. Yep. And then 12, 38 in the second was Schultz. And then 24 seconds later in the second was LaPierre. Um, but I mentioned the captain and, and Reeves with their conversation because uh, he was kind of like, oh, you know what? Uh, the, all this scoring, you know what? I'm, I'm tired of passing and getting assists. Uh, you know, let me show you how it's done. And he gets a goal himself also on the power play, mm -hmm. um, making it 4 two seven two thirty-seven 237 in the third. And I, I didn't hear the whole conversation, but I'm pretty sure Ovi said, well, uh, watch this. I'm going to get a goal here on, on this shift or in a little bit. And he does it. He died. He, and, uh, oh, my God. He is really just uh, – I'm in awe of watching him. Um, but I, I will say, like, even just being a sports nerd um, – to see somebody of his of his talent and skill and, and sportsmanship and leadership and everything else is just to be admired. And it is like we are, you know, watching, you know, history being made and he's on our team, which is just like amazing. But you know what? His his um when they mic him up, you know, sometimes when they when I've seen players be mic'd up like on the football field sometimes you they i feel like they kind of embellish their voices you know their what they're going to say to their teammates because they know that they're being recorded or whatever but i feel like we genuinely genuinely heard alex ovechkin uh you know the way he talks to his teammates the way he talks to uh the rivals the way he he just and how excited he was uh when anybody scored you know, whether it was Oshie or Schultz or, or LaPierre, it was like, hey, that's just a class act right there. F absolutely. I, I totally agree. And that's, you're right. It, it's not, it's not fake. It's not embellished when it's from him. It, it That's really him. Yeah. Uh, the man, man was born to play hockey and the man was born to be entertaining while playing hockey. Right. And no two right. ways about it. Nope. So, uh, yeah, so he gets he gets in on the act. Uh, Mantha and Carlson with the assists on that one. Uh, power play was <laughs> uh, just a big wrecking ball this this whole game. Uh, that and that was that was good to see. Uh, but by contrast, not so much later on. We'll get to that in a minute. Chris Kreider unfortunately spoils the shutout bid for V squared, uh, getting a tip in at nine thirteen of the third period so just over half a period more and uh vtech would have gotten himself uh a shutout but eh i mean still great effort overall and then captain closes out uh the scoring again with his second goal and fourth point coos nets off third assist of the night and set your dvr to tvr trevor van oh. reamsdyke his first point and assist shorthanded of all <laughs> of all <Right>? goals <laughs> Short-handed awesome. goal, <laughs> Alex Ovechkin. Uh, those are probably words that haven't been said very often. Uh -uh. No. So, uh, quick rundown of the vitals. Shots on goal, Caps 27, Rangers 24. Eh, not bad. Not too bad. Uh, would like to see more. More on the right side of the ledger, less on the left. But, eh, not bad for a first outing. Uh, Face-off, yeah, this could have been a lot better. 39.2 win percentage. Yeah. For the caps, okay. yeah, that that's not that yeah, that's not gonna fly for a whole 82 games. Uh power play, uh, six chances for the good guys, buried three of them. Oh yeah, 50% clip. Yes, uh more please. Um Pims, of course, everybody was expecting this this and the hits to be more. It wasn't 18 for the Rangers, 16 for the Caps, 
27 hits for the Rangers, like I said. They tried to dictate the physicality. Caps weren't buying it. And it was mostly, if you think about it, mostly hits that were causing penalties, unnecessary scrums, and getting people out of position. Mm -hmm. Only 12 for the Caps. They knew what they were in for. They knew how to play the game, and they played a very disciplined game um, to their to their credit. 15 blocks. Um, you hate to see too many of those, but um, those guys... They, they do their job, so hopefully I, I kind of cringe when that number gets over 10 or 12, but, I mean, it means they're doing their job, yeah. and, and it helps the goaltending. So good for them. I just, I just hope that it doesn't take the toll on the defense as much mm-hmm. as it did last year. Right. Uh, and that's, uh, yeah, that's um, pretty much the vitals. Now, we said the shots were – an okay total, uh, but here's what tells the tale. Six shots on goal, uh, first period for the Caps, 15 for the second, mm-hmm. and then back to six for the third. But the Caps had pretty much run away with it by the the game was half the time the game was half over anyway. So I, I think as long as they play, keep playing that way and they limit the chances, they limit, you know, mistakes and all that. I didn't see anything anybody really make a bad mistake or anything like that no i think that the, i think in the beginning it was just that uh so much adrenaline that i was i wanted to be like all right like you know pump the brakes a little bit but but then i didn't send that stupid text out and i'm glad i didn't um because they were having fun and that's and that's when we love the Capitals the most when they're when they're animated when they're playing smart hockey and it's like it is across the board, and I will say like I I was impressed with I, I don't I can't say that there was somebody that I was like oh get him off the ice, Orloff, but usually I um, have you know there's somebody but I thought that for the first game and to have the the fans there and every you know just trying to get back to some kind of normalcy even though we are so far from it um good on them you know it was it yeah. was good, it was and, good. And, yeah and being the home team and all that adrenaline like adrenaline <laughs> like you said uh can work against you and mm-hmm. sometimes it does uh in the case of the caps but not tonight and that i think that was that was really really good to see, especially with so many new and younger faces in, in the lineup. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I, yeah, I mean, you always want to get off to a good start, and I think, I mean, one game, of course, doesn't a season make, but this was this was a pretty good start, and I I think maybe even looking forward to a lot of good things to come yep. uh, from this team. So, uh, okay, on a few days later, it was. Last night, in fact, uh, this past Saturday, of course, I uh, played the defending cup champion, Lightning. Um, and this was a 2-1 overtime loss. Um, some, if you, if you don't like this kind of game, some would probably have said this is kind of a boring game, and I can see that, but also in I a didn't. sense it was no it was yeah it was it was pretty riveting to watch because the caps had their chances the lightning had their chances and it was i, I don't think uh, i mean i know one of your biggest complaints is is sloppy play missed passes and just you know overall not paying attention and just carelessness mm-hmm. i didn't see a whole lot of that in this game did you i didn't either and, and considering who they're going up against i and with it only being the second game i was impressed like i was i was not bored at all and also like i mean you have to give credit where credit's due and their vaskaleski is a phenomenal i mean he is a phenomenal goalie for tampa bay um, but I will say I was equally not well. I can't say equally. I won't, but I was just as impressed uh, with Vanacek, and I have been. And I think um, I, I think I I went into this knowing uh, it was going to be low scoring for sure, and I definitely knew it was going to you know kind of come down to the very very end. I didn't think it would go to overtime, but whatever. 
Um, but when you look at who scored on Tampa Bay, uh, you just kind of are like, nah, okay. Like if you if you didn't watch the game and you were just reading the highlights, you're like, okay, we'll look at who scored and look at who was in goal. But I think the Capitals um, didn't back down, and so I was impressed, you know. And and yeah, I didn't find it boring. No, because well, it, I mean, it was a defensive battle for for most of the game, and it was a goalie duel for most of the game. Right. Uh, well, hell, the whole game, really. And you know, it, it wasn't one of those, you know, fire wagon games where you get a goal every two to three minutes, and right. you know, there there are some out there, especially if you're. I'm I'm not trying to make fun of people, but uh, if you're newer to the game, you expect a lot of action, and and that means. To some, that means goals. Well, that that didn't happen here, and you kind of you maybe you were kind of expecting it with these two teams, but it didn't happen. But it was it was a strong game played by both. The goalies shined at both ends when they mm-hmm. had to. Yep. And yeah, it was just I, I well I didn't expect I didn't expect it to be as much of a duel uh, that way or as close as it was i thought i was looking for one of the two teams to make a mistake that would be very costly and the one time the caps did and it was by the captain uh did, did you see what he did uh, Corey cory perry got loose and and oh, had yeah. a breakaway all uh, right because and then he missed it <laughs> ovechkin missed his assignment and then he was like after the play, he kind of he waved said, over the bench. Yeah, it's on me. Sorry, guys. Yeah, but he's human. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, it's just just another sign that he's a not a shitty captain, but a very good captain and responsible captain. Mm-hmm. So, um, who happened to score the Caps' lone goal, uh, his third? Um, close with I have to, and yeah, <laughs> so ridiculously close on that. Um, that second goal that was, was, that did not count. Um, I mean, literally you probably could have put a human hair between the puck and the goal line. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it was uh, from all, ang- I mean, even listening to, to Joe B and Locker, but anybody, I uh, was, you know, cause any angle you're like, oh yeah, it's a, well, the, is it? was it over what and then you got it you know and that's you know that goaltender is you know he knows what he's doing and like holy shit to have reflexes like that split second um is sick but yeah it would have been fantastic had that been in in Oveshkin's uh had it gone his way but it would it would have been would have been nice but you know that just Part of the game. <laughs> just how the uh, that, that's puck luck. That's just how it goes for you sometimes. Uh, yeah. But Caps still get the loser point, and uh, I, I guess that's a good thing in, in the long run. <laughs> um, Samantha Pell was uh, pretty critical of the power play, and uh, I got to agree they could have put it away when they had that power play. Well, um, weren't they zero for four? Yeah, they were. You know, this like well, that's what I was saying. Uh, uh, first yeah. game they were gangbusters, and this game, uh, yeah, they yeah. were the exact opposite. And I don't know. I yeah. think I think you you were. This might have been the cause for uh, one of your posts on the Facebook page. Um, shoot the puck. <laughs> shoot the shoot the uh, effing puck was was the. Uh, uh, I believe. You can't, yes. You can't, you can't see it, but I'm doing air quotes because. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to be the the, the good one here. Um, Shoot the fucking puck there. Yeah, that that yes. too. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I think that's what caused it because I yeah I just think they were they got back to being too careful, which yeah. is which is what killed them last year. Well, just I mean, if you just if you looked at it, it was like the hell, like come on, yeah, you know, it just it just was like this back and forth passing, and it just. It just didn't seem, I don't know, like I didn't know what was going on. So, yes, hence the hence the message, but um, frustrating. But I will say I, I did walk away with both games. Um, pretty proud of 92. I was just about I was just about to ask you about him. Yeah, I yeah. I said, well, we said last week on last week's episode, he would be 
the key player, if not one of them. Mm -hmm. um, if he wanted it. Yeah, if, if, if he has his head and his heart in, in the whole thing. So far, I would say he, he's acquitted himself very well. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, uh, last night's game, he might have overthought things, but, you know, I, he did take a few chances. He didn't, he wasn't just skating in circles and just right. kind of looking for the highlight reel pass. He did, you know, leave himself open and did take a few chances and actually shot it a few times. But mm -hmm. I also think he was overthinking too. And, you know, it's, I, I don't know. You can be glass half empty about it, but if you want to see it glass half full, then it means he's starting to get his game back. I agree. And I think that he, you know, uh, ha had a lot of time to think about um, consequences and damage he's done and image that he's kind of um, destroyed through the eyes of some fans uh, and you know what, you have to, you're going to have to come back and, and whether it's earn the respect or earn the, you know, the fan base or however he wants to look at it. But when you're also down a Nicholas Backstrom, you have to take pride in your position, but also just, you know, in being a uh, step, you just have to step up. I mean, God, if you don't have 19 on the ice, that's like such a huge blow. So why not? you know, step up and do what you're supposed to do and, and do it for the right reasons, you know, do it because you're a Caps player and you, and you want the team to win and you want the cup. I mean, gu guaranteed we're two of 82 games in, but why not start off the best way possible and say, Hey, you know what, if Backstrom's on the ice, it's, it's still going to be okay. Um, and I thought he played well. I mean, I, I will agree there was a couple of moments yesterday where he was my shoot the fucking puck uh, moment. Um, but overall, I've been impressed with him and Carlson, to be honest, the last two games. So it's it's nice to see, uh, you know, the OVs and, and Oshi just kicking ass and, and keeping that consistent. And it's nice to see what these guys are doing as well. Agreed. Very much agreed. And... Uh, it, 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 yeah, it is great to see the veterans take the lead and, you know, show the younger guys how it's done. Um, and getting back to Kuznetsov a little bit, you know, he's, I think he realizes at, at, for the moment, at least that, yeah, it's right now it's on him to carry the load down the middle and mm -hmm. he's, he's trying, I'll, I will give him that. And so you know, whether or not he delivers, you know, it's a long season. There's there's 80 games left to go, but, you know, there's right now enough to say that, you know, he's he's at least trying. So I, I will give him that. But I, I think, like you said also, that because of all the stuff that went on before, a lot of people's patience is wearing thin. So mm -hmm. as long as he understands that. Yeah, I agree. So. That yeah, I, I I wanted to talk about him a little bit because, you know, he he can be still the difference maker when he wants and needs to be, and you know had the puck gone, um, you know a, a little differently, bounced a little differently, he might have had himself a goal or a key assist, um, in the game last night. So, but that's you know shoulda woulda coulda. You know, it's it's one game. They still got a point. We're not going to stew over it too much. Right. But but that that's the difference. That's the difference that he makes. So hopefully he can find a way to keep that up for eighty plus games going forward. Because mm -hmm. then then you know then it'll be it'll be worth it. You know what? I have to stop here because I'm watching the replay of last night's game, and they're 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 showing the replay of the goal. You know what? I, I'm just going to come out and say it. That was a goal. <laughs> that was a goal. I am seeing. I know. I, I, I am know. seeing. I, I am seeing a, 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 a the tiniest sliver of snow white between that little black disc and the red line. So that was a goal. Yeah, that it, it was hard. It was. I had to. I don't even know if there was an angle that I was completely sold. To be honest, I, I feel like it, it was the right call, but God. So close, and there was just like I don't know, like you said, it could have been a hair. 
but I mean, I'm I'm literally seeing it for the fifteenth time, and I'm seeing just enough white from from the outer edge of that little black disc between that and the line, and that tells me whole puck over whole line equals goal. So uh, I hope I didn't you know freak out any uh, anybody who's into a fan of geometry or, or anything like that. My, my kids, maybe I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, so uh, yeah, not to not to beat a dead horse, but I mean it's a tough loss, but it was it was uh, you know enough to get them the old loser point. But uh, and you mentioned this before. Hats off to Vitek Vanacek. I think he played a great game. He had a lot of high danger chances. He had to he had to deal with and every others. He his rebound control for sure is is a hundred times better this year. Oh, absolutely than was last year so he's he's learned that um enough to earn him number 3 star for this game 24 shots against 22 saves so i think uh you know, i would say we're in good hands with him of course uh, samsonov is probably going to get the next start uh just to see what he can do um, I'm, I'm I'm kind of I'm a little bit torn because I feel like maybe they'll wait until they go to Jersey. Well, we'll see. Well, are you? Oh, okay. You think maybe uh, Sammy will be the road goalie? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I can see that too. Yeah, I can probably see that too. So, uh, yeah, I yeah, it's a disappointing loss. I don't I don't think the Caps did really anything much wrong. They actually put out more shots in this game. It was just. You know, Steven Stamkos, you put the puck on his stick with the game on the line. More often than not, he's going to bury it. So, yep. I, I, you know what? I, if, if you got to lose that way and you can still get a standings point, yeah, I'm okay with it. And it's game two. So. And it's game two out of 82, so I, I'm but, fine with it. Yeah, and we'll so, see again November, what, 1st or the 11th or whatever right. it is. So, <laughs> not worried right. about it. So, so, the Caps record after this week... Um, of course, um, <clears throat> uh, one O and one. What's the O stand for? Oh my gosh, we were treated to a lot of great hockey. Okay. More crickets. <laughs> Jeez. One of these days, but... Stonewall. Yeah. Um, all right. So, uh, okay. So, taking a look at the future schedule. Last of the three game homestand to open is this uh, coming Tuesday, seven o'clock puck drop at Capital One against the Colorado Avalanche. And mm. then the game you mentioned two days later, Thursday night, first road trip of the season, albeit a very brief one against the Devils. Right. Uh, seven o'clock puck drop at the Rock. And then back home on Saturday. Wow, this is early. This is early enough. Uh, uh, First matinee of the season, those uh, afternoon games that you love so darn much. Uh, I seriously I hate them. <laughs> just, especially like one, <laughs> like if it's four o'clock, okay, one o'clock, not so much. Yeah, it's one o'clock. For us. Yeah, this one uh, against the Calgary Flames, and okay. that will actually close out next week. Mm -hmm. So that's previews of coming attractions. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think we could have asked for, uh, except for an outright win, um, a better, a better start to the year. And listen, I, I don't want to beat a dead horse, but I mean, guys who were worried about the team, come on, you had to like what you saw yeah. with this team. Yeah. I had to have a lot of compete, a lot of fire, a lot of, you know, standing up for your teammates, a lot of what it takes to win. So I, I think if they can keep it up and manage manage to avoid a rut in this long season, I I think this team might do some damage or at the very least get in the playoffs and impress. So, I mean, look, I, I'm not worried, and I don't think you should be either. I'm trying to hammer that point home, but you know, I I just I'm wondering if you know, all our listeners out there you know, on the other side of the speaker's earbuds or what have you are, are getting it that 
it, it's not really anything to worry about. I don't think this team is going to fall into like a 10 game losing streak or something like that and yeah. is in danger of missing the playoffs. I really can't see it. And again, that's game two. I, yeah, okay. I and, get and that, that's, I'm, I'm just going to keep saying it because I, I just, I know. 82 flipping games, and, and I'm impressed with how we're starting. It would be a totally different conversation if we had our asses handed to us in both games to be like, what are we going to do? We look good. We have vet players that are fantastic, and we have uh, rookie players that are fantastic. And I think the chemistry so far has been spot on. And, like, let's just ride it out. Like, I think this next week is going to be huge for them, considering who they're playing Mm -hmm. and some of the players on the other teams. Uh, and the rebuilding of certain teams. <laughs> um, but let's just do it. Like, let's just be fans. Let's just watch and support, and, and then we'll critique the hell out of them if we need to. <laughs> right. So, yeah, I, we're, we're trying to talk you guys off the ledge. You, yes. you, you out there who are doubters right now. So hopefully we've done that. I, I think this team has given you a lot to cheer for, and that, that's really all you can ask of them. So, Great. All right, so I think this is a good place to stop for now. Uh, we'll be back again, of course, next week. And I uh, just want to put out uh, uh, the message. Anyone who is interested in uh, being a guest coming on, giving their opinions verbally for all to hear in Caps fandom, of course, you're welcome to join us at any point. Um, message us on our Facebook page or privately in Facebook uh, is where we're mostly available and of course is available on instagram mm-hmm. and uh, i'm on twitter at at b-l-u-l-i-n-e-r 98 a uh, great way to contact either one of us uh and i will give out my personal email g-l-h-a-l-l-o-w-e-d at yahoo.com can email me there if you got a question about the show or anything like that that you want posted so uh yeah we're here for the fans and if you're a real fan you want to come on and be recognized, go for it. We're all for it. Absolutely. Yep. So, uh, okay. So that'll do it for this edition of the Power Play Point podcast. So for the Mermaid Anna Knox, this is the Blue Liner on Point signing off and reminding you that a lawyer's favorite drink, it's a subpoena colada. <sighs> I would hope nobody would ever walk into a bar and order that. (laughs) At least I got some disgust out of you this time. That's true. That's true. You got a little something, something. New season. I I feel like, I feel like I'm sometimes with you. I I feel like I'm um, at at the dreaded shootout and I've got, (laughs) and and you're this six foot tall goalie with (laughs) big ass pads. And I got zero chance to get one by you. So. That's good. Anyway. Continue to think that. Yeah. Anyway. (laughs) Hallelujah. And let's go Caps. Go Caps. This has been another episode of the Power Play Point Podcast. All episodes are available from Apple Podcasts, the Podbean app, blueliner77.podbean.com, and now available from Stitcher. Music by Joe McAllister, voiceover by Jeffrey Cockle. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night, Power Play Point Podcast. Thanks for listening.